All right, thank you for staying with us. We're getting into that conversation. We'd like to hear from you. What do you expect from BBI Phase 2, SMS 22422? Just tell us your name and where you're texting from. Use the hashtag Newsnight on Twitter at Trevor Mbija at Citizen TV Kenya. We'll sample some of your views during this broadcast. And joining me now is BBI Joint Secretary Paul Mwangi. Thank you so much for making time. Thank you very much. Let's get into it. So the team has now been regazated. Yes. It's really just the same team, really. Names just changed from task force to steering committee. To the steering committee. Exactly. So what is this team going to do so differently this time around? When we were a task force, what, what we did was to collect the views of people regarding uh, the nine point agendas. Yeah. And, and to hear from them their perceptions of those problems and, and possibly what they think would be the solutions. Uh, we came up with a report in, in which we have uh, tabled what we, what we think we heard from them mm -hmm. regarding what their problems are. And, and what their proposed solutions, uh, what their stated solutions were. Yeah. And we have also, in, in the same report, uh, said what we think uh, solutions some of those problems can be. Yeah. So we are going back to validate those positions with them. And they will be telling us whether we fully captured what, what their complaints were, yeah. uh, and, and also their solutions, uh, whether they agree with uh, the sol some of the solutions that we have proposed, where possibly we did not agree with the what they thought was a solution. Mm -hmm. And if we have rejected solutions that they gave us, we have to explain to them why we thought that uh, the solutions would not work. Okay. And then with that validation process, then we have a document that we can move forward. So this validation process, really, the BBI said that this was the most consultative meeting, the one that came up with the report. Mm -hmm. So you went around the country taking views from the people. And then months later, you're going back around the country to ask people whether the views you had collected is what they actually said. Doesn't that then justify the critics who say that there was an end in mind and it wasn't achieved in the first report? No, it's a best practice that, that when you do a research on, on an issue, that you must validate your views and you must go back to those who had spoken to so that they can confirm that, that what you have written is exactly what they said. It's, it's only that this process will not be as extensive as, as what we had last time. Yeah. Uh, so we, we are going to have a shorter uh, in, in terms of our own direct engagement, we, we possibly have uh, smaller meetings on a wider area. Uh, but we have also asked uh, the public to engage in the national discourse. And we are already having these conversations that are going on. And we are picking up uh, what is coming up from those conversations. Okay, so there are smaller meetings that you're going to hold around the country. We, we, we plan to, to possibly have, for instance, a meeting in, in, a, in a region. Yeah. And, and within that region call all the people who are engaged in the conversation that are currently going on. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, consultative forums that are being carried out by governors in, yeah. in, in the two regions so far. There is one that is taking place in uh, Mombasa mm -hmm. on uh, this weekend on the 24th. Yeah. There is one that, and that will cover the coastal areas. And these people were not involved before? Uh, is that why you're going back to them it's, now? It's, it's a wider, uh, this is a, a wider forum yeah. because the, each country is bringing 500 people. And we are discussing with them uh, what is in the report. We give them, we take them through the report and what the recommendations are. And they will say whether those who attended, a lot of them did not attend last yeah. time. And they will tell us whether what we have actually captures what their thinking has been all along okay. and whether they agree with us. Uh, the other forum that is also coming up is that we have a forum in Kitui yeah. on, on the 1st of February, which, which is going to capture uh, the counties within the command region, mm -hmm. the Lower Eastern. And, and other forums, we hope, are, are going to come up where we are invited to engage with the public. Yeah. But despite that, we shall also ensure that we have our own forum where we now receive everybody who is having their separate conversations. Yeah. And we say everybody from this region who has uh, had a, 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 a view on the report and was engaged in a conversation about this report, yeah. we shall receive your memorandum on this day and, and then we retreat now. Okay. And I find that interesting okay. because the statement that you sent to newsrooms just a few moments ago, paragraph, uh, this is one, two, three, five, says the steering committee will send members and its trained technical experts to all forums it agrees to attend. So you're saying there are certain forums you will not attend? You can't attend every forum. So how will you Even decide in terms which of time. to attend them? We would look at how representative are you, how many people are within your, your forum. So if your forum is, is, is a small forum that represents very uh, small viewpoints, either we would require you to join into a bigger forum, yeah. but would of course prefer to attend a forum that has many more viewpoints that captures a, a larger area. Yeah. 
uh, and that is why we are thinking regionally in this instance. But if, for instance, you have a forum that only deals with a constituency, and there are 290 of them, yeah. we might decide that we can't start attending forums at a constituency level. And, and we might suggest to you that you possibly need to join up with uh, similar forums as yours, and let's have one big forum which we can Doesn't that attend. then make it a political process rather than a people-driven process? Because people are going to hold those small forums you're talking about. If you read the statement, it talks about uh, civil society, I churches, have it right here. yes. But what so about it's, it's not about machinery. the politics, it's about in whatever organization people have organized themselves, even if it is on a political platform, the important thing is that they have a platform on which they've organized themselves. Yeah. And that within that platform they capture as very many views as possible from different sectors of the society. Yeah. Is it a coincidence that you are confirming that you're going to attend the Mombasa one and the Kitui one right after the DP allied MPs also said that they'll be there? We, we have been there. We, we were in Kisi. Yeah. The, what people have been looking at are uh, the rallies. Mm -hmm. But outside the rallies, there has been a delegates conference that has taken place. In, in uh, Kisi, there was a delegates conference that took place that morning. Uh, before the rally took place in the afternoon. In the Western uh, region, the delegates conference took place, is what happened in Bungoma. Yeah. And, and uh, the people met, the 500 people per county, and then the rally was in Kakamega. So we are involved in, 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 the, in the delegates conferences. Yeah. Uh, same thing is happening for the Coast Province. There will be a delegates conference on Friday. And we shall attend that and we shall have experts and members there. And yet the allegations from the Kakamega team is that it was not all inclusive. Some people were left out. The, well, the, 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 it depends. That's why I said these are consultative forums that are being done by the governors. But you're telling everybody this, this is not a mass that you must attend that. If you have viewers and you feel that you have a different viewpoint uh, or that you would want to organize yourself separately, yeah. we would also be available to attend that too. Okay. Yeah. Is there an end in mind? For the in terms of what the result, we, we have the, the report you, because uh, we, and we can't move very far away from the report we have already uh, said what we have seen yeah we can't come up with a new report everything we do will have to be contained within the four corners of the report that we have already so issued. is there a chance there's no chance that that report will change what well, in, in terms of the, there are things that could change in terms of if we have a proposal and you want to amend that proposal or you want to enrich it uh, we would look at what the proposals are. There are already very many proposals that have come in respect of, for instance, we propose that we have the position of prime minister. Yeah. There are people who are telling us that you can't have a prime minister who can be fired by the president. Mm -hmm. So that is something to consider yeah. in terms of the powers of that prime minister. There are people who are proposing that you can't have a prime minister who doesn't have deputies. Yeah. Uh, that is something to consider. So depending on how many views we collect in all the consultative forums, yeah. then you could enrich that idea with with the different proposals and but, it's but within the same yeah. within the same proposal it's interesting that you bring that up because there are many divergent views so how are you going to pick which one to emphasize on a, a lot will depend on what is the sway and what what do many people feel is acceptable. what does a sway look like to you is it the people or the politicians it's the people and, and even before we go to remember we we record everything that we listen we receive all memorandums yeah. everything is on record mm -hmm. so if we say that we think that the general attitude of the people is towards a particular direction we can back that up yeah. empirically with with what we have recorded and these and people you're talking about are the people in Mashinani and not necessarily the politicians the politicians are one just one of the sectors of, of the society yeah. you also can't ignore them uh, you have to listen to what the political class is talking about mm -hmm. But at the same time, you have to listen to what the religious groups are talking about, what the youth are saying, what the women are saying. Yeah. So you have to listen to every, every forum in which people are organized. Yeah. This is where my, concerning, my concern really is, because I have the terms of reference when the Gazette notice was made here. In Section 1B says that we propose administrative policies, statutory or constitutional changes that may be necessary for the implementation of the recommendations contained in the task force report. This is where it gets interesting. Yes. Taking into account any relevant contributions made during the validation period. So how will you decide and that's which what contribution saying that is The validation relevant? period will also address the proposals we have made. But they're going to talk about relevant it, contributions. How will you know which one is relevant? How will you decide? I, I think that's why we have been appointed, because mm. somebody trusts our judgment. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's a question of whether we have good judgment or not. And, yeah. and you can't uh, empirically say that it's, it's subjective. And, yeah. and it's a question of where we are now, most people believe and, mm -hmm. and have expressed satisfaction with the way we have dealt with things. I think that is, is an answer to, to saying that we have been able to fulfill that 
that requirement. Okay. So Senator Orengo was here on news night some times back and he said there's a referendum coming in June. Raila Odinga also said that at the same time the referendum is coming in June. Your term ends in June. Should Kenyans be expecting a referendum by then? We have always said that politicians will give their views. What are your views? And view, BBI will give you Our views is what we are formulating now. So you haven't formulated it yet? Th that's a process we are in. Okay. That's a process of talking to everywhere, including the yeah. same politicians, and yeah. we have listened to them, and we have listened to their view as to why they think it should happen within that time and yeah. how they think it is possible. We will receive the views of other people. Okay. And then we will come with all of You already have a 156 page report on the BBI, so you know what most likely is going to turn out. Are we going through I, I would. I, I would not uh, anticipate the issue by commenting about it now without going through the validation process. Because if we can have an opinion about that now, yeah. then that invalidates the entire. Uh, the, the entire process that yeah. we're about to get into. Okay, I know you don't want to give the timelines, but are we going to get a referendum? Let's start from there. Most likely, from everything you suggested there. Looking at the report and, and uh, the proposals that are there, if those proposals stand, we would not escape the fact that, uh, for instance, if we were to say we are going to harm all the changes that have been proposed yeah. in terms of the nature of the executive, it means you cannot escape uh, a referendum because okay. that would be necessary to put that into place. Okay, so based on from where you come as a technical as a steering committee, what are the timelines you're looking at then? Because you already know this is coming. We have been given by the president till June. Mm -hmm. uh, that could shorten depending mm -hmm. on the levels of engagement that are there. Mm -hmm. uh, but the president has also given us, uh, uh, he has said, or oh, such at the time as we may need. So depending on how much interaction we receive, because we can't lock anybody out, if the interaction is a lot, then it means that we would have to take advantage of that extension that the president has given us. Mm -hmm. If we are able to cover this in a shorter time, then again, we wouldn't overly extend our mandate unnecessarily by, by not delivering the report as early as is possible. Yeah. So it, it, it is the experience we have within this validation process that will determine whether we can shorten the period and, and give people the, pro the product earlier or not, we would of course want to make it a shorter period. Yeah. It, it would be less expensive and I think it make everything move on to the next level. Okay. The statement here says that you're going to print versions of the BBI report to also have Mashinani people read them. Is that going to be translated in Kiswahili and which report are you going to print? The 156 one or the, the final amended one? No. If there's going to be any amendments? No, at the moment we are we are dealing with what we, we had published yeah. and, and what we came up with. Uh, the problem we have now is that you have to do this in, in a resource-constrained uh, environment. Yeah. So we, we can't go and print a million copies of that report and, and, and distribute it. Yeah. Uh, there, there is a lot of printing that's going to come because whatever, we, again, we come with, uh, we have to avail it to people. So yeah. we, we are trying to find out the best way of decimating this information to as many people mm. as possible uh, in the most cost-effective manner. So at the moment, we are ensuring that everybody who participates in every process that comes gets copies of the report. Yeah. So if we, if we, for all the forums that we have gone, we have gone with enough copies to give those who are participating. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and if somebody were to tell us now, I have some 2,000 people who are meeting in this area and we're going to be discussing this, we would avail copies as, mm -hmm. as is necessary. Yeah. But as I said, we, have, we are very conscious of the fact that we have to distribute this information as widely as possible yeah. in the most cost-effective manner. You speak of resource constrained, 10 billion shillings, is that resource constrained? <laughs> as we had explained earlier, that, that, that was a red herring. Somebody, because they, that figure came from uh, a presidential uh, state, of the uni, uh, state of the nation address. Yeah. And it was very clear the purpose for which that commitment had been made. It had nothing to do with the process that we are involved So in. you're saying you don't have that many? We don't have 10 billion. It's not 10 billion. We, we, How much? We never it? had. We have come back. We will give our budgets in yeah. terms in terms of uh, the expenses that we need to uh, to incur. And what are the budgets we, looking like? Uh, we are in that process, let me say that. So but it's not 10 billion? Nowhere near. In fact, in fact, we... Is it half of that? No, it, can, it cannot even be... One, possibly about 200 million. I, I don't even think we can even spend that. Around 200 Because we have, we have really, really we, for instance, we didn't even take a, a trip outside. We didn't benchmark. And, and all that was deliberate. Yeah. 
and everything we did, we ensured that we did something that would spend the least resources possible. Okay. Let's see about this. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of issues here. There, there are a lot of political activities and polarization caused by the BBI. If the report was really meant to tackle divisive politics, and yet it's creating so much division now, what is the guarantee that the report will bridge the divide? The report has not created any division. I, I think, I don't think you've had anybody uh, complain that there's something wrong with the report. And, and if, where BBI is now is not where we were six months ago. Six yeah. months ago, our legitimacy was questioned, our independence was questioned, our process was questioned. Yeah. And, and in, all, in every way, it, it became clear that whatever product we come up with is not going to be accepted by some sections of, of Kenyans. Today, we are in a position where everybody likes our process, everybody likes our independence, everybody is happy with uh, the way we do things, and, and everybody is happy with the report. So and yet there's a bit of political division around it. The political division that is there has absolutely nothing to do with the BBI process or the BBI report. I, I don't think there's anyone who has expressed any yeah. misgivings about us. Okay. And, and in fact, the fight that is also there is that people are fighting to protect our independence and make sure that we do the same job yeah. as, as what we did last time. So there are, in fact, less divisive issues now. For sure, the volume is higher, yeah. but the issues on which divisions are, are much, much less. Okay. Yeah. So let's now play something Mur Murkomen spoke about earlier on. I think we have that sound bite. Let's hear what he had to say, then he'll respond to this as we wind up, right? We are worried of this report that there is a, another clandestine uh, committee and report and a bill that is not known to the people of Kenya and that the process must be done transparently by actually through that process of the team that has been cassetted. Is there a clandestine committee? No, and, and again, nothing new. Uh, we, we came through one and a half years where there were all form of secret committees and people writing the constitution. Uh, there were all f fake uh, reports that came out. Yeah. And, and finally, we, it became clear that all oh, that was not true. Yeah. So, of course, there's a lot of suspicion and political camps are very suspicious of each other. Yeah. Uh, none of that is true. But, and I do not see why we have been appointed openly on a Kenya Gazette. Yeah. I think if there was need, if the president had the mind that there should be another group, yeah. it is that group he would have appointed. Even though so, you are allowed to do it, because in your terms of reference, and I have the Gazette notice here, number four says the Joint Secretary may co-opt yes. any other person. That's so there will, no, there will be no need to do anything clandestine, okay. because they, we, we have been put up openly okay. and on Kenya Gazette, and if anybody needed to be co-opted, they will be co-opted as openly as we have been appointed. All right. Thank you so much for making time this evening. Sad, sad. BBI Joint Secretary Paul Mwangi there t talking to us about the BBI still insists it's going to be a people-driven process all through and the divisions you're seeing is just basically political. We're taking a quick break now. We'll be back with much more on Newsnight. Benki Gulf Africa.